Good morning, everyone. Say, so, yeah, I need to replenish another one of the little um, snacky items that I have around the house all the time. So I love breakfast food, but I am not a breakfast eater. I'm just not one to eat in the morning. This would be my breakfast. Lovely black coffee. Sometimes I put cream in it too, in my Rice Krispies mug, my favorite mug. So this is my breakfast, but it doesn't mean that I don't want breakfast food later. So I always have some granola, some granola that I make on my own. That way I know what's in it and I know what's not in it, okay? So it's, it's delicious and it smells so good too. <laughs> so I need to replenish my container. As you can see, this is something that I eat for real. So I'm gonna just make some with you this morning. So if you want to try it and let me know what kind of creation you came up with in your version, that's the fun of it, right? All right, so we are starting with coconut oil and I've melted it in the microwave already. So coconut oil and of course it comes solid so you have to kind of melt it up, okay? So I'm pouring that in my bowl. Well, actually I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna do some other stuff to it. So first of all, we're just gonna go down the recipe. I need oatmeal. I'm one of these like meat treat cabinet people. I know we all have our thing, right? And this is so like forgiving. You can kind of do whatever you want. For me, I put in two cups of old fashioned oats, not the quick cooking stuff, okay? I also put in a cup of unsweetened coconut flakes. I don't know, you all are like, oh my stars, she labels all her stuff. Yeah, well, we're all a little weird in our own ways, aren't we? <laughs> okay, coconut. What else do I want? I want some different cereal in here. So, rice checks. I use rice checks. I'm gonna put a couple cups of rice checks in here. And then I happen to have Cheerios on hand, so I'm gonna put some Cheerios in here. But you can use any cereal you want. I've used many different things in the past. Um, so yeah, any cereal that's not sweetened, that is not the best option in my opinion because we are going to sweeten it with what we add. So we're gonna add that. We're gonna also add some almonds. I like the smoked almonds that you can get and they're really good. Now you can also add fruit to this, like dried fruit, so apricots or raisins or whatever. I don't care for that as much, so I leave that out of here. So this is my concoction so far. I'm just gonna kind of stir it together here. Like I said, you can add whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. So I think I'm gonna add one more thing to this. I'm gonna add some flakes, okay? And they happen to be in another cabinet. All right, so we're gonna add a cup of flakes. I think this is like Wheaties cereals or something like that that I use in muffins. Okay, that looks delightful. Okay, so now we are gonna coat it, and our coating consists of, like I said, coconut oil, so I have melted that already. Now we need to add something sweet to it. And again, this is so forgiving, so you can kind of do what you want. So it calls for runny honey. I didn't know there was any other kind, but I, they must mean they don't want like spun honey. So I'm gonna add that to my melted coconut oil. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm also gonna add some maple syrup. So this is a pretty sweet deal. We got this from a guy down at the lake that actually taps maple trees. So yeah, this is like top dog stuff. Yeah, it's even better than stuff I've gotten at like vendor shows and stuff that is um, supposed to be, well, I'm not saying supposed to be, of course it's locally grown or locally harvested, but this is in particularly delicious. So if you need some good maple syrup, I can probably hook you up. Okay, so the next thing, it's cardamom, cardamom, vanilla, and cinnamon. And again, I've talked about this before, I love Penzi's spices. If you are a cinnamon lover, like I am a cinnamon lover, um, for cinnamon, the sweeter and the spicier, ooh, it's so good, right? Like Mr. Food used to do. So yeah, the cinnamon is a big deal. And I've lost my teaspoon here. And 
and I really um, do not agree with their political platform. So if you were to get on there, I just don't want any confusion there. But their spices are top dog. Okay, so we're gonna add some cinnamon. We're gonna add some vanilla extract. And then we're gonna add some cardamom. And like I say, all this is pretty forgiving. So you don't need to like worry about measuring so much. I kind of eyeball it because I know what I like and I've been making this for a while. And then you can also add just a little bit of kosher salt. So we're gonna do that. And that is it. We're gonna stir this together. Can you see that? Okay, because it is melted. And then we're just gonna mix it over our cereal. And we're gonna, um, I guess I forgot to do this, but we're gonna start the oven too, obviously, because it's kind of a toasted concoction. So the oven you set at 325, and then you just spread all this out on a sheet pan. All right, so our oven is on. Stir it around just so you can evenly coat it as much as you can. And then we dump it out on our sheet pan, and we are gonna just put it in a slow oven, what I would kind of call a slow oven, 325. And we're gonna do that for about 10 minutes, and then just check on it. And, um, you can like flip it over so it kind of browns evenly. Now, I am one to get very distracted and I'll go start something else and completely I forget I have anything in the oven until I smell it. I don't recommend doing that. It is not good burnt. <laughs> it is not good burnt. So you wanna just keep it really a light brown, just to brown um, that oil and that sugar sweetener of whatever you decided to do there. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're gonna dump it on our sheet pan here. And this is what I just flip it with then when I'm browning it, so it can be more evenly browned. And your kitchen is going to smell amazing, kind of like when you're making cookies even, when you get that cinnamon smell going. Yeah, it's pretty delightful. But this is just a, what I would consider a pretty healthy snack to have around the house, especially if you love breakfast food any time of day. So it's good mixed in yogurt. It's good by itself. I've even like put almond milk on it and eaten it like cereal because granola is kind of cereal, right? So there it is, folks. <laughs> so we're just going to brown it up and then add it back into my granola container so I've got it. It's very portable, which is another nice thing. Um, put it in a little Ziploc and take it with you where you want to go as a good snack food option. So that is my recipe for the day. I hope you enjoy this. I love this stuff, so I'm excited to have my kitchen smell really good again for the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a great day. Let me know if you try it and what you think. And again, I'll post the recipe in the comments, but it's a very forgiving recipe. Make it the way you want to. Have a good day.